Life's a coat of many colors It is never black and white Can't have one without the other The dark without the light Check it in. I'll call you. I love you too. I'll call you when I get. Yeah. Okay. I'm hanging in front. Bring it around your waist. And insert the end into the clasp. To tighten, pull outward on the stick. So they gave us all uh, vouchers for to buy stuff on the plane or at or in y'all I have made it to Denver ended up um, being stuck in the airport in Austin until midnight um, central time and uh, it is now 2.42 and how do I turn this music off okay it's 2.42 uh, mountain time and so I have to drive about 16 miles to where I'm going. Um, I'm tired, I'm tired, boss. I'm tired, but it's okay because I'm here and I'm gonna um, be up bright and early because I have a my calls start tomorrow. Um, and trying to do the time 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So yeah, I'm gonna go catch some sleep and then I'll be up and ready to um, ready to work tomorrow. And I gotta find somewhere to work outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because um, I have never driven in Colorado. I normally, you know, Uber or catch the the bus. They have a great public transportation system here in Denver um, but I am driving myself because the conference is actually about 40 miles away from where I'm staying I opted to stay closer to the airport that way I know my butt <laughs> won't miss my flight or have less likelihood of missing the flight because I've been known to miss you know one or two so all right I will see you guys tomorrow Hey everyone, um, it's the next morning. I have gotten up, fixed me some coffee, um, have started working. It is cold outside, so I'm actually going to knock out a few calls. I start in about 15 minutes um, with my calls, and so I want to do all that in here. Y'all, my night last night, oh my gosh. So, got a flat tire. Um, they took forever to get here. Didn't get in until about four o'clock um, mountain time. So it's four o'clock mountain time, which is six o'clock. I think it's six o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is what I operate on. <laughs> so it was so late. I was so tired because um, I didn't sleep well on the plane because I lost my. I left my neck pillow and one of my favorite scarves at an airport, the airport in, um, I think I left it at the airport in Raleigh at RDU, so I'm going to check with Lost and Found when I get back. And yeah, it was, it was an eventful evening, but overall, I am fortunate, I am blessed, I am here, I am happy, I am up, um, woke up with all faculties, the sleep was good, so I'm going to give you a quick tour of um, the place that I'm in and let me just say starting out it's not fancy it's not um, 
you know five star necessarily it's exactly what i wanted though i wanted something lived in i wanted something comfortable and clean but that had a personality i wanted to connect with um the the homeowner so it's an airbnb i like doing airbnb when i can because i like helping put money in in people's pockets i like that so she's very very lovely um, we connected very well and um, the pictures were really nice and for the most part it looks you know pretty much like the pictures it it has a vibe it's very much vintage furniture i can tell that she um you know purchased this thing secondhand at thrift which i like so it's it's cool it's cool it's cool for me it's just me by myself so let me just give you a tour of the place okay so first off come in here are the stairs and then you walk in and this is little kitchen area um has a little coffee machine Please plug in exhaust fan when smoking. I'm in Colorado, y'all, so, um, you know. <laughs> it's Colorado. So, little refrigerator. Have some items in there for purchase. Um, here's the little living room area. This is where I'm doing my work. And have a little have a little friend in here um oh there's a bigger one i didn't see him when i came in i just saw the one little one but um, apparently there's a couple some microwave some more snacks and things and as you know i'm here for a hemp conference which is not marijuana it is marijuana's cousin but it has industrial and medicinal uses um, nominal amount of THC so you do not get high with with cannabis um, products from from hemp CBD is one of the more well-known ones it's the living room area and I'll talk about CBD and my motivation for even wanting to get involved with that here is the room that I stayed in last night you know just quaint it's cute it's cute um, it's a few pieces in here. Look at my junkie suitcase. I haven't put anything up. It's a and then down this way, walk by the bathroom, is another little bedroom. So cute. She had little chocolates. Um, another little bedroom had. Had anyone else been with me? And then the bathroom, which is tiny. So you see my stuff everywhere. A little shower right there. So yeah, it's cute. It's cute. And I am casual for the day, okay? I am here to learn. So I might I'm probably gonna change this this top because these grays are really different. Or I might not. I don't care. Um so yeah, I just got on some le some leggings. I'm gonna take these socks off and put on something to match. I had to run upstairs and speak with the homeowner for a minute to get the Wi-Fi password so I just put on what I had but you know I'm not doing anything complicated I just pulled my hair back threw it in a little ponytail um, your girl not trying to do makeup or any of that there we go that's some light yeah I'm not trying to do any of that I'm not trying to do makeup I'm not trying to you know, I'm coming to learn, make some connections, and relax. So, let's see, I have it for from a Thursday to a Monday, and I paid $389, $389. And then my tickets to get here were only like $200 because I flew Frontier for the first time. Um, so Frontier for it to be my first time flying with you for you to have an emergency landing I'm just saying I'm just saying but it's okay I'm 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 gonna rock with you again I'm gonna rock with you again because you gave me a travel voucher so I know I'm gonna rock with you <laughs> at least one more time but we'll see how that goes but anyway let me go 
Um, I have a call in a few minutes and I need to prep for it and then I have actually three back-to-back -to -back calls today and then after that um, have a few things I need to get out and then I'm free for the remainder of the weekend so I will be back to show you um, when I actually some footage when I actually go to help mess I'll try to make sure that I capture some video while I'm there so you guys can experience what I'm experiencing Good morning. How is everyone this morning? I am headed into Loveland. Um, I've been up since about seven and um, am getting ready to eat a little breakfast and go. I decided to dress comfortable today. Um, had on some jeans and um, t-shirt. T-shirt says plants are rad. Um, <laughs> and look, these jeans is cold as hell outside. And I got these jeans. I grabbed the wrong pair and got all my thigh meat out. But I only have a little way to walk. Ooh, let me shoot my zipper. It's up. I only have a little way to walk, so I ain't tripping. I decided to go for comfort today instead of um, trying to be extra cute. And, I, I, and you can be cute and comfortable. I'm cute, you know. Put on a little lipstick and um, do a little something to my hair. I've been really doing simple styles. Let me try to get some light. Simple styles lately. Um, just because I don't be feeling like doing a whole lot. I just, I don't feel like doing a whole lot. You know, even with makeup at this point in my life. Uh, I mean, I want to look good, but I'm not trying to spend two hours. Um, just doing makeup or just doing my hair and the reason is because at my age you know I'm 42 now two hours is better for these bags under my eyes than trying to figure out how to use you know 12 different concealers I use concealer but yeah <laughs> I'd rather get some sleep so anyway I'm about to eat me some breakfast I went to the grocery store yesterday purchased a few things like a half a dozen eggs some avocado um, I'm eating a bit differently now and I'm um, seeing some results. It's, it's, it's cool. I'm eating a lot actually and I'm seeing some results which is, I, I, can, I can do that. I can do that. So I will be back um, once I get to the hemp fest. All right. Cotton breeze back. Well, you, you know my black ass don't care about cotton. Um, <laughs> I got a historical biasness right, right. against it, but so even organic cotton. Even organic cotton. When you say breed bacteria, so I got a cotton T-shirt right now. My breeding it's breeding bacteria. Well, probably more like this area. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bacteria. Because I don't want to feel like that. So I can have hemp and it's all natural. That's him? No chemical. Yeah. Can I touch some hemp? Yeah. I mean, it feels. Check out my skirt. That's hemp? This is all hemp heard inside and then it's our fabric. Is this like what they use in cars? Mm -hmm. They're using I bred hemp in cars. Yeah. Let me see the other side. Oh, back on it. So where's the market going? So going into CBD market now. If you have somebody who says that they will purchase your CBD flowers from you at the end of the season, you need a contract. You need them hard in writing that they are going to buy this material from you, okay. no matter what it tests. CBD can range from 2% to 30%. Yeah. They want the higher stuff. Of know? course. Right? And it's worth more money that way. Of course. But you're also going to put more money into it. Yeah. What you're essentially doing when you're growing CBD is you're growing marijuana without the THC. And that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Okay. The dual purpose industrial chemistry, which is just a different animal because it's planted differently and okay. it's pollinated, it grows more crops, not more. People. Let's see if we can get it. Can you guys? 
Okay, there we go. All right. So, this is what we call a dual purpose. Okay. okay. It's grown by seed, not okay. by clone. Okay. So it's planted like a crop. Okay. 88,000 seeds an acre. There we go. I'm trying to find my ginger compadre. How you doing? I'm great. Y'all need me to model one of y'all t-shirts. Oh. Y'all need to, need to, to break to, it down. To our sales manager about that. Then. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not trying to model Why at not? this point. Why not? <laughs> nutritional profile fueling your athletes on the back end give these guys cannabinoids instead of opioids give them cannabinoids instead of ambient muscle relax the whole bit I mean it replaces everything it's so simple and, you know in my opinion it's not just giving these guys an alternative it should come from the top of the organization the general manager invests in these players invest in your you know you invest in these guys for long-term sustainable health so why not prevent injuries best you can as with regard to those substances. Um, so, enough of me talking. I'd, I'd love it if these guys would each introduce themselves and talk a little bit about their football careers and, um, in particular, their use of cannabis or CBD before, during, and after their careers and how that's helped them. From the ground, it's good for me. It might not be good for everybody else, but it was good for me. So that was my experience with marijuana and it helping me. And now today, boy, it helps me tremendously because I'm fighting uh, CML, chronic myelogenous leukemia. So it's helping me control my leukemia. I take chemotherapy every day, three pills a day. It helps to neutralize that. It helps me with my neuropathy. So gang, I'm telling you right now, CBD helps. Marijuana helps. It's not the devil. 
As a matter of fact, it's an angel for me. So, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. If You've got for Hi sale. Hi. This is so cool. So, what do you know about 3D uh, printing? Um, well, a a little bit. I would suggest turning yeah, that wrench because I printed that on so a thousand dollars three printer. You printed this? The highest quality wrench you can One print of, at you the know, moment. Or sorry, it's the highest tier Those are 15, quality four at the gig. moment for yeah, us for thousand dollars. One wow. Like that, a pen, um, and it's all him? Yeah, it was injection. printed uh, in place, no assembly required. Uh, and, and some, do they come wow. individually or is it kind of Okay, everybody, I am done with um, NOCO 5, NOCO 5, let me see, what is this, it's a hemp expo, so it's not a conference, um, it is an expo, but they did have a farm symposium where you could learn a lot as well, and oh my god, my head is reeling, I learned so much, oh my gosh, I'm excited, um, so much good stuff. So now, I am going to, I'm going to thrift <laughs> here in Colorado. Baby.